<clears throat> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, and dudes of all teenagers, as well as the uh, gals. My name is Christian Chandler. I am here, and y'all are there. <laughs> this message is for everyone of the present and the future beyond this date, February 24th, 2007. My birthday, my 25th birthday. I am high functioning autistic, and in my 25 years, I have seen and learned so much. And today, I shared, intended to share some wise words that I hope each and every one of you will take to heart and allow for yourself and everyone else a better prior future. First off, remember that going to school is not a torture, it is a place of learning, a place for growing, a place where you form the spelling of your own opinions, your own feelings, and your own personality. So learn everything you are able to and grow with it. Now, you should also be able to try something for yourself before forming praise or detest of it. As long as those things will not harm you or shorten your lifetime in any way, it's totally cool. What is totally not cool, though, is thinking or doing these things which are very harmful to you and definitely gro will gross out those around you that don't do it because I haven't done it and I don't like it doing either of them. You should avoid at all costs smoking, drinking alcohol, and intaking similar icky, dangerous stuff. And smoking will eventually cause cancer, and it will, you'll be more likely to get heart attack, viruses, and your life will be cut drastically short. They don't call cigarettes and cigars death sticks from nothing other than killing you slowly. If I could, I would take every last ounce of tobacco, put them on a rocket, and shoot them up to the moon. And for uh, alcohol, they'll cause uh, liver dysfunction, kidney prop, kidney failures, and uh, not only that, but when you get drunk enough, bar fights and automobile accidents. So it's a real slow-acting poison. And I haven't done either one, and look at me now, I'm a fizz a fiddle, and I'm living 25, hoping to live on to be about 80 to 100. And y'all... Hopefully y'all will get a chance to get up to that ripe old age as well. Now, among the better things you should definitely try before despising is some of the hobbies of those of your all opposite gender. Like, uh, for example, if you're a young gentleman, I recommend buying yourself a My Little Pony figure of your favorite color or whatever. Now, uh, stroking the hair of said pony is very relaxing and therapeutic and also rubbing it against your cheek. That's nice. And also, uh, you can pretend that uh, the pony is uh, that girl you want to take you want to take out to. You want to take out sometime and talk to the pony like you would talk to the girl. Now, for the uh, ladies, I recommend a good old Autobot from Transformers. Because you can get to learn how to examine the mechanics and variations of each and every, I mean, of the uh, autobot you have, like uh, you would try, like you would learn how a man works, and it'll allow you to feel more comfortable in approaching and talking to that boy you've been flirting from a distance, or uh, just been uh, flirting with from a distance, and uh, hopefully. Uh, all you, all you have to do is just end up and say hello. I mean, it's not so hard. All you have to do is say hello to the man, ladies. That's all. And everything will just get going from there. And also, uh, with the uh, Autobots, well, it's a vehicle, but you can, you can drive down that imaginary fast lane. But in any, in any case, uh, while few people may ridicule you, you should not worry about it, because most everybody will be all, totally okay with it, because it won't matter. It won't matter, because they see you enjoying it, and that's totally cool if you're enjoying it. So you enjoy it, just do it. Don't worry about other people's op opinions. Because uh, compared to the other school, those people who disregard you are just total peanuts. And I'm not talking Charlie Brown, I'm talking about the little nuts, yeah, with the shells. 
the real peanut gallery. <laughs> that would be peanuts, wouldn't it? Also keep in mind that while you're playing with these things, you should keep in mind of what your true original gender is. Because uh, it's like you're learning about that girl you want to take on a date, young man. Or uh, likewise, you feel more comfortable to approach that boy and just saying hello that you've been checking out from a distance, young lady. And hopefully in due time or now, each and every one of you will stay straight. You know, girl for boy, boy for girl. Everything else is vice as said by Dr. Kinsey. Not just for me, not for the big man upstairs, not for your family, but do it for uh, yourself and for, and for the benefits of everyone in the future. Your children, your children's children. And besides, if you stray away from the straight path, it can really jeopardize the entire future of the world and the human race. Also, girls and ladies, don't just go over Gaga over the handsome rich boys and men because they may turn out to be disrespectful and distasteful in their personality. You should take into consideration all the other gentlemen that uh, you may have considered that may be less attractive or equally, less or moderately, because those will because they will likely have a better personality that you will t that you will generally enjoy and like and they may end up having a brighter future for themselves. Like, look at me now. I'm shooting this movie for a DVD. That's got, that I hope will be shown in a uh, couple of schools, at least. Now, uh, also, uh... Also, when, you each, when each and every one of you has a true general understanding of the uh, opposite gender, and after finding that special man, ladies, or that special girl, gentlemen, always keep to heart and memory the times that you two felt most attracted to each other because that will be a key point to recovery from any disputes or arguments that you two might have in the future. Otherwise, uh, you two would just be darn happy with each other. But it's not all always going to be peaches and cream or strawberry shortcakes. And also remember, you two should keep each other, because there will be nobody else, no matter how much you think about it, nobody else that can replace that special someone, him for her, or her for him. There's just nobody else, there's no substitute for that first one. And now, I leave you with the lessons that you should have, I hope you have learned from my message. You should, all, you should stay in school. Learn as you much, and try before you praise or despise. Never smoke, never drink, never worry about how others think of you when you do things, or when you play with things that may not that may not seem like you or whatever. Don't be afraid to approach those of your opposite gender, and most importantly, please stay straight. I leave you with those words as I have shared with you on this, my 25th birthday, February 24th, 2007. I am Christopher Christian Weston Chandler. Live long and shine on in your very own unique way. War is never the answer. Peace is. Never fight. Compliments will get you fuzzy wuzzies. War gets you prickly wicklies, as well as punches that get you those too. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day.